Guitar Girl Magazine, and we're here with Militia at the NAMM Show 2015 in Anaheim, California. And just wanted to catch up with Militia and see what's new and what she's got planned for NAMM. So what's going on at NAMM? Um, well, I kind of lucked out because I did my like the bulk of my work here already. So now it's just like having fun and taking in great music and meeting people and you know all the good stuff that goes along with being part of NAMM. So. I'm pretty excited about it. It's a lot of fun to sit back and take in like everybody doing what they love at once. Nam's kind of like this Shangri-La for anyone who hasn't been here before. Nam is kind of like this Shangri-La, like a safe haven and a home base for musicians to come and uh, explode their passion at you 24/7. So it's an exciting place to be. It's probably a bit over overwhelming for people who haven't done it before, or for people who maybe. I don't know, we're just like fans of music. It might be a little bit too like techie nerdy for them <laughs> to get into. Um, but it's not about that. It's about just like, I don't know, just soaking it all in. If you ever get the chance to go, please go. It's awesome. That's a great vibe. Here. Yes. It's, it's a fantastic vibe. Yes. So, Interestingly enough, I've never seen a single fight at right. NAM. I've never seen a single fight. I've never seen even like confrontations at NAMM, like everybody I think is just so high from the music and the experience that like... And the alcohol. Yeah, and the alcohol is <laughs> flowing freely, uh, which is also a benefit of hanging yeah. out at NAMM. There's a lot of freedom here, so people respect it. So uh, you performed the other night with your tribute band, Judas Priestess, yes. and I heard it was really great. It was, it was awesome. We played Wednesday night, so it was a kickoff party. Um, at the uh, Hilton lobby, um, they have one big stage this year, which is awesome. It was hey, how's it going? He was there. <laughs> That's my buddy Jim there. We're new buddies. Um, so uh, it was sick. We uh, we came in, we killed, which is always my mission. And am I supposed to be looking here or here? I probably. Is it doesn't matter. <laughs> this one. Okay. This is just backup. I'm exposing the behind the scenes magic now. Right. Um, the show was awesome. Uh, people were great. It was nice to look out in the crowd and see people like really into it and uh, see some famous names in the audience too that were watching me for a change. So that was good. Yeah, I was, as I mentioned earlier, I was, I was sitting having lunch and I ever heard these people talking and they were like, wow, the band was so great last night. They go, that lead great. singer is just wonderful. So, that was great. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. But besides your Judas Priestess, you have your own solo work, and you had an EP out, Bait. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, okay. So what's going on here is that my album Bait, or my album The Villainous, is in two parts. So the first album is called Bait, which uh, is a cover of EPs, a uh, cover of uh, a cover of an EP of covers. Yeah. Sorry, I'm still not awake and probably a little hungover. Um, it's a collection of covers on an EP, and uh, it's basically to bring people in and transition them into this new sound that I'm offering. Um, I'm really trying to update and modernize uh, heavy music, so it sounds modern, it sounds uh, less traditional. Um, you don't recognize, uh, like I guess, a typical musical things that go along with uh, heavy music that you're familiar with or comfortable with. It's not typical guitar based drums, vocals. I go use a lot of unconventional sounds to make it more interesting, to make it modern, to make it really heavy. Like uh, some of the things would be like distorted harp in Japanese taiko drums. Oh wow. Yeah. So like we really, I really like wanted it to sound full and cinematic. Um, I came out with a list of cover songs and I posted it on my social networks. And I let my followers just basically pick what they wanted to hear me sing. Oh, that's so a good idea. they just kind of like picked the top five, six songs, and those are the songs on Bait. So I printed 100 copies of Bait. So they're collector's items. Um, there's 13 copies left oh, wow. in existence, and that's it. I'm not printing anymore. So if you didn't get it, sorry, they will not be printed again. Um, and then they're going to be, obviously they're available digitally, iTunes, CD Baby, my website, www.maliciousmyname.com. Um, so that's the first album. And then the second album is an original album called The Villainous. That'll be out at the end of the year. Um, that's going to be all originals, but they're going to be very heavy songs. In this 
in the vein and in, in the style, kind of like the artists that are on beat. You follow what I'm saying? So, um, like some of the songs are by like Ozzy, you know, um, DJ Harvey, um, artists like that. So it's like kind of a splay of, you know, musical references. So you take all that, you throw it in a blender, and that's kind of like what I'm putting out on the villainous. So and you're gonna get a that's coming out at the end of the at okay. the end of the year. But basically, what it's saying is like it's got a lot of power. It's heavy. Uh, it's dark. Uh, it's mischievous. All the things that I am. <laughs> yes. Well, that's great. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. Thank you. Sorry, it was a little long-winded and maybe a little disjointed, but that's where my brain's at, people. It's day two of Nam. <laughs> And you're looking at it, so thank you so and, much for having me. And your me. website again is www.militiaismyname.com. Great, thank you. Thank you.